and gave their valuable suggestions. I have noted down suggestions from all the honorable members. Inshallah, I'll talk individually to all of them, try to understand more what I have understood. If I have not understood correctly or if I have to understand something more, I assure the House that I will uh, take all these advices which have been given to me here in this House, which I think is the right place which can guide me and which can uh, lay a roadmap for the education system of the state. So I will individually come back to all of the members I have noted down. Having said so, I would like to give a brief overview of the department. Honorable Speaker, sir, the Honorable Chief Minister and the Honorable Members of the JNK Legislative Assembly. It gives me immense pleasure to be here amongst you to make my maiden speech as Minister for Education on the demands for grants of the education department. At the very outset, I would like to emphasize upon the centrality of the education sector in the grow growth of any vibrant society. It is the cog in the wheel of any nation's progress, and unless we match set global benchmarks, we will continue to lag behind in all other sectors of development. We nurture children, give them education and skill as per the demands of the market-driven society, which is becoming competitive with each passing day. Therefore, engaging in any constructive dialogue on improving the contours of the education sector shall require all of us to rise above our own political affiliations and considerations. At the very outset, let me confess that I am not here to point a rosy picture of my department. I haven't succeeded yet in making any discernible change on the ground, as I am still trying to come to terms with what ails our education sector which is directly linked to the most important investment we can think. That is investment in future of our children who are our nation builders of tomorrow. I have absolutely no qualms in conceding that when I was sworn in as a minister in February last year, the portfolio of education was perhaps the least on my mind. I am not an educationist nor an academician, but my experience of being at the helm of affairs in the department of for the past 11 months allows me to state with certain degree of responsibility that investment in education is undoubtedly the most significant investment any government can hope to make. When we build schools and colleges, we are in fact laying edifice of a safer and more prosperous environment for all of us, especially youth. I firmly believe that lack of education is the most defining reason for abject poverty around the world. That is wherein the stiffest challenge lies for me as a minister. I would place on record my gratitude to the Honorable Chief Minister Mothrabamabwa Mufti Sahiba for imposing faith in me to deliver in the education sector and for the continued support she has extended in revamping the education scenario in the state. I also express my deep gratitude to the Honorable Finance Minister Dr. Haseeb Dabu for assuring additional financial assistance to tide over critical infrastructural gaps that exist in the sector due to acute funds constraint. Just to give a glimpse of the ministry I had Education department is by far the biggest in the state, having manpower of nearly 1.5 lakh employees. Besides, additional manpower of 50,000 is directly associated with the education sector, that is your RETs. So we have around 24,000 state-run schools and 96 degree colleges spread along the length and breadth of the state. The onus in making these institutions vibrant and functional is not upon the education department alone, but also on the honorable legislatures present in this house. 